couple of last questions. These are about your fighting career. Uh -huh. You've gone down to Mexico two times. People believe you won both fights, yet you don't come away with the victory. Is it frustrating being the best fighter in your division in America, but you have to go to Mexico where you're not having this um, good luck, per se? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. I come back, I get mad for a while, you know, but I do the sport because I love it, so... You know, in some ways it kind of comes with the territory of the game. So, you know, I kind of stick it out. But it is frustrating. Like, I can't say that I'm okay with that completely. So, next, What's next for you? Uh, I don't know yet. You know, I'm waiting to see, like, what kind of fights come up next and, and what the opportunities are. Um, but I'm open to things. I still want to fight the best fighters. So, like, you know, I'm hoping that there's a way I can do that still training full-time with Eddie Croft still? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, I took last week off because I just fought last week, but yes, I mean, okay. next week we'll be training full-time as usual. Okay. <laughs> you have a crazy, smart person job, right? Yeah, I'm an architect at a solar company. Yeah. That's a pretty tedious thing. How do you maintain being an architect and a pro boxer? Uh, I manage my time well, so I, I like, it's, in some ways it's a little bit better because I have a schedule that I have to keep, so I don't miss stuff. So like I get up, I do my cardio, I go to work. You know, my work sometimes lets me come in and out to spar if I need to leave during the day. They're they're a little bit flexible in that regard, but you know, I feel like I just manage my time well. <laughs> okay.